Today, Louis Beach joins the prank patrol. His mission? To make his best buddy Callum believe he's in charge of a customs warehouse that's packed with explosive surprises. Okay, our fortune cookie says you will find the perfect prankster and he will be good. That's a fortune, isn't it? Hang on, is that him? It is, that's him. Okay, it was right. Uh... Perfect. Ninjas, that's him there. Quick. Are you Louie? Yeah. Did you apply for Prank Patrol's help? Yeah, I did. Congratulations, mate. You're the newest member of the team. Stick that on. Oh, sweet. Oh, fits perfectly as well. You're also going to need this. That is your pass to prank. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Oh, Feel God, good. That's oh, sweet. I need to borrow in for a while. Is that okay? Okay, no problem. Lovely. Louie, follow me. See you later. Bye. Meet our newest prankster, nine-year-old Louis Beach. This intrepid explorer is bonkers about bugs, spiders, or anything that's got more legs than himself. When he's not wrestling his dog, Daisy, he chills with his tortoises, who are always happy to say, Shello. Welcome to the prank van. Cool. Coolest wheels on the road. Right then, let's talk business. Who are we pranking? My best mate, Callum. Your best mate, Callum. It's always the best mate, isn't it? Talk to me about Callum. Why does he need pranking? He's the oldest of three, and I'm the youngest of three. So he's grown up pranking people, and I've grown up being pranked. So I think we should have a little swap around. A little swapsy. The switcheroo, as it's known on Prank Patrol. I like that. OK, let's check out Ninja Surveillance and just... Oh, my... Spider. Yeah, very funny, ninjas. Thanks very much. Let's check out the real ninja surveillance. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Callum and Louie have been friends for three years, and they're always pranking each other. This pair of snow bros love playing outside. Whether it's snow football, snow cricket, or even snow basketball, it's snow joke. And now it's time for the prank patrol to crank the heat up on this cool customer. Right, Louis, he is what's known in the business as ripe for the pranking. So what I say is that we, we pluck him from the tree and we squish him under our pranking feet. Sound good? Yeah. Let's talk ideas. What have we thought about? Well, I lived in China for three years, so we could do a Chinese theme prank. I like it. Well, like this, you mean? What? No, that's a Chinese theme tune. I'm talking about more the Chinese artefacts and stuff. Chinese artefacts? What, like something that's precious? How about Ming vases? Have you heard of them? They're beautiful. It's, they're very famous for them in China. During the Ming dynasty, Ming vases were made. There you have it, that's your history. Now, the beautiful thing about that is they're priceless, right? And if they were to smash and Callum was to blame, that would be a cool prank. But it's too short. We need to have something more, something that gives it a bit of a bang. We could use some firecrackers. Beautiful, because, of course, China's famous for its fireworks, isn't it? So how are we going to get some fireworks and Ming vases in the same room with Callum? Well, my mum works at the airport for the Border Force. Border Force? So they're like Power Rangers? <laughs> no. What do they do? Uh, they look at the goods that are coming and going in the airport. And does Callum know that? Uh, yeah. Well, that's perfect. We can get you and Callum into a warehouse where your mum's taken delivery of something. Callum could sign for it. Oh, mate, if he signs for it, he's responsible. <laughs> One of those for that. Now, I happen to know quite a few jokes, you see, and I do have a delivery joke, as it happens. It works out quite well. Oh, oh. What, what did the envelope say to the stamp? What did he say, Lonnie? He said, stick with me and you'll go places. Because <laughs> it's an envelope and they, they go places. It's terrible, Lonnie. Not funny. <laughs> Should we, um... Ninjas, take us to Frank HQ. Yeah, what he said. The blueprint for Louis' delivery prank is one bogus customs warehouse, some bumbling delivery drivers, a crate of priceless Ming vases, a bonkers Border Force official, and an explosive consignment of Far Eastern fireworks to make this prank go off with a bang. So here we are, Louis. This is where your pranking dreams become pranking reality. Prank HQ, it's awesome, isn't it? It's really cool. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, 
the longest journey starts with the first step. I've just cut that, wasn't it? Very impressive. It gonged on me foot. What? So where do you like to start? Probably the Ming Vasa set, my favourite. I like your style. Follow me. Ninjas, that joke has been in gong. <laughs> <laughs> it's been in gong. <laughs> I got a million of them. Oh. Louis, meet Nat. Nat, meet Louis. Hello. Hi, Louis. Now, Nat is in charge of our design stuff here at Prank Patrol, so she's going to make what you need for the prank. So, tell her what you need. Can I have some Ming vases for me and my mate Callum to smash? Can't really smash real Ming vases. Yeah, they're very expensive, aren't they? The they big are. ones. They okay. are. So, we've got these cheap vases here, Ooh. and I've started painting them in the design of a genuine Ming vase, like that one over there. That's an actual Ming vase right there. That's a genuine one. So, if we're going to copy the design from that onto this, if we very carefully bring that over... Yeah. OK, Louis, can you grab the vase for us? Just bring it over. Nice and gently. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Louis, what have you done? Dun? That's a priceless Ming vase. Why are you smiling? Because you know it's a prank, yeah. don't you? Yes, of course, we were setting it up so that you know what it's going to be like for Callum. Do you think you'll be shocked when that happens? Yeah. Your face was a picture. <laughs> right, then, well, we can leave that there where it is, because we know what we're doing. The design's already on there, so uh, let's get painting. Brush. Okay. I'm so excited about doing this prank on Callum. What? Is this helping the prank? <laughs> yes. It is. I'd like him to react, just jumping back and his face go pale white, but I think he might react just laughing his head off. <laughs> Here's a head. Hey, Ronnie. This is Louis. Louis meets a head. Nice to meet you, Louis. And Louis is our top prankster. You're one of our top designers. I think it's going to work just right. Look at that. That's a snake? Yeah, that's a snake. Now, you're probably wondering why there's a snake there and we haven't talked about it yet. Mm. Because I thought we should crank the prank. You and Callum are going to get delivery of a box full of snakes. Are they real? <laughs> no. Well, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe they are. No, of course they're not. I'm just kidding. That is not a real snake and that'd be a big one, wouldn't it? Open that door at the side and you'll see why. Oh, hello, ninja. <laughs> it's one of our ninjas. But Callum won't know that, of course. He's going to think it's a box full of live snakes. And just to uh, crank it a little bit further, we're going to tell him that one of the snakes has escaped. What is he going to do? Go freak out. Good, we like that sort of behaviour. Thanks for that, Zahid. That's all settled. Fine. A few more stickers. Nice. What's that one? Right, this is the box that contains our fireworks. Has it got fireworks in it right now? No, it's not got anything in there just yet, but we do need to put the finishing touches. What do you need from us? Right, I've got a stencil that translates as fireworks in Chinese. That actually says that fireworks? That says fireworks in Chinese. Callum read Chinese. No. Wicked. OK. Yep. So I need you guys to put these on and spray the stencil on. OK. There you go. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, yes. So we've got our nice Chinese symbols that are all painted on there, and that, of course, says... Firework. Uh, so, Hid, you happy with that? No, yeah, that's perfect. What I'll do is I'll spray a few more on, and then get a few boxes together, then I think we're ready. Excellent. What about you, Lou? Are you happy? Yeah, I can't wait to see Callum's face. Oh, it's all going to be his fault as well. Oh, and that's where this bad boy comes in. Do you want to know what this does? Yeah. Follow me. Now, this prank, mate, is going to be explosive, quite literally. That's why I've brought you to the Prank Patrol testing bay. Ooh. Behind you is a man called Wayne. Hi, Louie. Hi, Wayne. Right? Hi, Wayne. Wayne is our special effects expert. So, <laughs> please remember, don't try anything Wayne does at home because he knows what he's doing. Now, what we need to do is tell Wayne what you'd like him to do for the prank. Well, can I have uh, some boxes of fireworks from the warehouse to scare my mate, Callum? So, you want them all going off? Yeah. Oh, that'll be good. Right, what I've got is I've got some fireworks laid out for you. So, we'll have a look at them one by one. All I need you to do is push the button on our very special box. Oh, look at that. He's a gadget and a half, that is, isn't it? Now, of course, this is the actual box that's setting off the fireworks, but Callum's going to be given this. It's kind of a wireless remote trigger. He's going to think that he's accidentally set off the fireworks, but, of course, Wayne is in charge of all that at all times. So, um, this is the box that we're going to use now to test these. Yeah, we're going to do it. All you need to do is push this button. So, mm -hmm. when you're ready, push number one. Awesome. Three, two, one... Mate, I like that one. That's it's kind of sort of understated, isn't it? It goes straight up, it's got a nice sort of display. It's great, but it just needs a little bit more. What do you think there, Wayne? I think the next one might be just up your street. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> 
Now that's more like it, you see. That's an explosion. That's good. But just a little, little bit more. He always wants more. It's the crackers he's after, isn't it, yeah, really? So, yeah. yeah, this is the one that you'll like. Number three. Ready when you are. Three, two, one. How awesome were they? They were awesome. So there you go, the firecrackers. Do you think that's uh, that's going to be enough? We could mix them all together. Thinking like a prankster, one of those. Wayne, is that possible? Yeah, we can do all three of them. I'll put a couple more crackers in there as well, so there's more than one of them going off. All we need now is our uh, Border Force officials, and I've spoken to the ninjas. They've sorted somebody out for us who we can go and meet. So while we go and do that, here's a prank you can do at home. The recipe for a prank! Banana drama. So, want to freak out your friends with pre-cut bananas? Well, here's how you do it. Just take a normal banana and a needle and thread. Carefully, under the supervision of an adult, push the needle through one side of the banana, keeping close to the skin. Then, reinsert in the hole you just made and continue until the needle ends up where you started. Then, you just carefully pull the thread out, slicing the banana inside without removing the peel. Amaze your friends at school with your new scientific discovery, pre-cut bananas! A very important part of the prank, of course, is the costume. It has to look... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, gentlemen, back you go. Hey? Can't come through here. Official personnel only in this bit. <laughs> what are you on about? We are official personnel. ID? You got any ID? No, we... No, well, then you can't come past there. Louis, tell me what we're doing here. We're doing prank patrol. Ah, uh, pranksters, are we? No, I'm afraid this one won't be falling for that. We are pranksters, and we're very proud of it, actually. Listen, ninjas! <laughs> can you tell him, please, who we are? <laughs> Thanks very much. Enjoying your food, are you? No ID. Off you go. Thank Sorry This is that. where... Right, stop it right now. <laughs> Because he's an actor, obviously. So you're okay, you can relax. Yeah. This is what's gonna happen to Callum on the day. Andy, it's good to see you again, Hi, mate. How are you? Did I have you going then? Yeah. That was an amazing performance, that was, wow. it really was. Um, so that's our official. He's the one that's gonna come in and tell Callum off when he's broken everything and set the fireworks off. What do you want him to do? How do you want him to play the character? I want you to go sort of mad at Callum when, right. he's, when you see he's broken all the stuff. But also, I'm gonna have a go at both of you, but I'll look at him more, yeah, to get him feeling guilty. Yeah. Lovely, Andy, thanks very much. Getting Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, cheers. So we've got right. everything sorted, pretty much. All we need to do now, one final thing, which is very important. Do you want to tell him? Ninjas, load the van. Hello. Here we are, Louis. Welcome to prank location. What do you think? Cool. It's awesome, isn't it? It looks a bit bland on the outside, but the prank isn't happening out here. It's happening in there. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Come on, then. So you, your mum and Callum are going to get brought into here, OK? We're then going to make up some sort of fake emergency, which means your mum's got to be called away, leaving you and Callum in charge of the warehouse. Is that when all stuff gets delivered? Exactly, yes. That's when boxes like this will turn up and they'll have Ming vases in them, which, of course, we've seen at Prank HQ. We're going to have fireworks and, of course, the snakes. Do you think this might be a bit mean? No, I don't think it's mean. Ninjas, what do you think? <laughs> Did you invite the gorilla? No. You're in for the wrong prank, mate. Mm. Sorry. Uh, well, listen, can you tell the ninjas what to do because they'll listen to you? Ninjas, get to it. Hello. So, we're about to make a phone call to Callum. And get him involved in this prank. So what are you going to tell him? And I say, uh, Carl, do you want to come bowl with me tomorrow? And then what's actually going to happen is on the way to the bowling game, uh, you're going to get a phone call from the people that your mum works with, and they're going to say, get yourself down to the warehouse, we need someone there to look after some stuff that's come through, and that's when things start to go wrong for Callum. Yeah? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, his number's ready. Hello? Hi, Carl. Uh, do you want to come bowling with me on uh, tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, you all right to come? Yeah. Okay, so... Bye. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to tell your mum uh, the precise time, okay? Okay. Bye. See ya. Bye. Mate, well done. It's so hard to be put on the spot like that, isn't it? When you think you've got lines to learn and you've got to tell him the exact thing, but he sounds quite chirpy, doesn't he? Yeah. I like Callum, he sounds quite cool. So he's got no problem at all about being there. He's going to be there for the game of bowling, but of course we know that's not actually going to happen. Are you happy? Yeah. One of those? Follow me. Our prankster Louis wants to prank his best mate Callum with a delivery based disaster. Will Louis' prank deliver the goods, or will Callum send the prank patrol packing? 
you're about to find out. Louis, not to make you too nervous, but Callum's on his way. What are we gonna do? Don't be nervous, everybody be calm, that's fine. <laughs> Animal arrivals area, a very important part of the prank happens right here, because this is where the snake box is gonna go. It's gonna be full of live snakes. That's what Callum thinks anyway, but actually it's not going to be, is it? It's gonna be a ninja with a rubber snake. Exactly, and if you open that door just there, the bottom part of the door, there he is, our ninja in waiting. Thumbs up, we're all set, nice one. Over here we've got Rob, who's our delivery guy. Rob, this is Louis, Louis, Rob. Louis, Hi, Rob. how are you? Fine. Now, what's Rob gonna do when he comes in? He's gonna smash into the mingle houses. Yes. Can't wait for that, mate, can you? That'd be ace. Any particular way you want me to do that? Yeah, fast and random. That's my middle name. Pzz. Rob, what? get yourself into position, thanks very much. Follow me over here there, quick. Meet Andy, our security guy. Hey, Andy. Hey, chaps, are we all ready? We are ready, yeah, how about you? Yeah, just got a few props all ready to go now. Excellent, what did we tell Andy to do before? What was his character? Uh, he has to be angry and moody. No, take no message from anybody. Nope. Get in position, please. He's on his Aye, way. Yes, sir. Thanks very much. OK, so everything's set, everyone's ready. Uh, what else do we need? Cameras, of course, to capture Callum's face. One there, one there, one there, one there. There's loads of them, all to get his reaction when it goes off. What part do you think is going to go wrong? Probably the firecrackers. Yeah, me too. If they don't go off, we've got no finale, have we? But hey, fingers crossed, it will do, and we'll get Callum's reaction. That's what it's all about. One of those. What else do we need to do? Ninjas, hide the van. Yeah, quick, he's coming. Come on. So there's Callum being led into the customs warehouse by Louie's mum, Lindy. Now, Callum thought he was going bowling today, but Lindy got called into work because of an emergency staff shortage. And while she sorts it out, it's up to the boys to look after the delivery bay. There's our prank patrol actor, Emma, who's putting the boys into their vests with hidden microphones so that we can hear everything they say. We'll be, I mean, hopefully only 20 minutes. There might be a couple of deliveries, if you can just, just sign for them and just hold the fort. We'll be as quick as we can. You know the rules, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. No mucking about. Do not leave this area, boys, OK? Yeah. Oh, nice look with the hoods there, boys. <laughs> right, Emma and Lindy are leaving, so it's now time for the first delivery. Let the pranking commence. You sign. What does CDE stand for? Cool. Mm. All right, how are you doing? Hi. You good? We can save uh, here from CDE delivery for some Chinese uh, Ming vases. That's right. If you just sign this for us before I drop them off. You sign it, Cal. Oh. Yeah, just there uh, would be great. Callum seems eager enough to sign, but don't forget, as soon as he does, those Ming vases become his responsibility. Hey, cheers. I was going to say, could you do us a favour and just help us bring them out of the farm for us, yeah? So the boys give our delivery driver a hand unloading the priceless Ming vases, and they found a nice, safe place to put them just down there on the floor. What could possibly go wrong? That's good, mate. That's good. All right, have a good one. See you later. Bye. Well, the first delivery's gone smoothly enough, so let's crank the prank and send in number two. You're signing the next one. Oh, I should have sign it. Okay. And here he is, our prank deliverer, Bob. I'm signing this. Oh, watch out for the box. What are you doing, mate? Oh. What are you doing? Didn't see that coming. Uh-oh. The priceless Whoa. new vases. Have I just hit those? Yes. What are you doing? You're like little munchkins, what are you? Do you work here? No. No, we just came. We're just visiting. Take your rods off. Why'd you crash into the new vases, mate? Duh. Right, I'm going to back up. Okay, Don't touch sick. anything. Just hang on behind there. It's a priceless thing. Right, I'll back up. Just check it. Is there anything behind me? Yeah. Nothing behind you, mate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Done it again, mate. She's not good. Not good. <laughs> That's a bit. What are they, anyway? They're priceless mean vases. I didn't hit them, that. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> hang, hang on to that for us, kid. What? Don't drop it. Ah, they're not vases, they? Yes, they are. They're not. They'll be cheap plates or something. They're not going to leave thousand-pound. Uh oh. Oh great. Oh, tell me Fantastic. what. Oh, you are joking. They are as well. That's it. Show Callum, so he knows what trouble he's in. Uh, I'm not being funny, lads. But what are they, what are they doing there? Duh. What about my van? Oh, that's it. I'm fired. I'm fired. Why did you put? Did you put them there? We put them there together. <laughs> Who signed for him? He did. <laughs> I don't think it's funny, lads. If you sign for him, it's your fault then. Anyway, I've got. <sighs> Get, help me, help me with mine. All right, what have you got to live with then? Well, a very special cargo. Don't leave these in the road, will you, lads? What are these then? I don't have no idea, but don't drop them. Hang on to that and wait for them. Why are you putting these ones over here? 
Down there for me, please. Just on the floor there, mate. On the floor. Carefully, I don't know what's in him. Do you recognise the symbols yet? Yep, you got it. It's the fireworks. But Callum won't know that because it's in Chinese. And he's not going to be silly enough to sign for these as well, is he? Right, you need to sign for this. <laughs> Brilliant. He's signing it. He does not know what he's let himself in for. So we've got another delivery in a minute. Here's a plenty from Callum, I'm making all of that for my super. I'm not, I'm not very happy that you don't, you don't seem at all concerned that I've dented my van. And yeah, don't worry about my van. I'll get it valid. He's a bit checky. Am I clearing these boxes? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you missed them. Oh, great. Was that more boxes? Yes. Oh, just. You spat the same one. Oh. I cannot believe this is happening today. I can, because we planned it. But I wonder how Callum's feeling, because his day is going very wrong. Lundy's gonna get mad. She sure is. So you better not mess up this next delivery. It is so important, even Bob's coming to help. Hey, keep coming. Oh, hey, Pete, all right, man. What have we got here? You are joking. I'm not. What is that? It's a snake for the animal section. God. A snake? Well, surely Callum's not going to sign for it after everything that's gone wrong today. Oh, dear, he is. Is there anything he won't do? Look, you're going to need some protective gear, guys. It's in its uh, case, but if he starts spitting and put on, put on there, mate. It'll do with a hiding hood. <laughs> How big is it, this one? That's it. Have you seen a bog box snake before? No. How are you on your Chinese? Uh, well, I lived there for three years. Right, well, you'll know what does bot mock mean. Uh, isn't it poisonous? Deadly poison. Now, it doesn't really mean that. In fact, bok bok isn't even a real snake. But Callum doesn't know that. Papa, I, used to, I used to play with snakes all the time. I'm fine. Oh! Easy. <laughs> have I got any of that on my face? No. You sure? No. Well, it's lucky the boys have their safety goggles on to protect them from this imaginary snake spit. Right, that's the snake unloaded. And now it's time for the very expensive glass display case. You got it. You got it. Be careful. You got it, yeah. Oh, oh no, you didn't. That wasn't me. You signed it. Uh, yeah, they, they have to sign for it. Oh, yeah, of course, it's yours. What? It's not our business. You've signed for it. <laughs> All good condition. Well, I wouldn't quite say that, but Callum did sign for it, so they're stuck with it now. Where's you on the frame, lads? Um, Good, jo good job they signed for it, isn't it, kid? Yeah. With another delivery ruined, Bob's decided he's going to have to call the warehouse boss. That's me, of course. I'm so getting a telling off here. Hello, this, this is Bob Control. Is anyone there, please? Yeah, Bob, this is Bear. How's it going, mate? Uh, what's the problem, mate? There's some crackers here. Let me, I'll put the, the lad who's been signing for this you on. First man came in with the delivery. He had the um, and he told us to put them down in the middle of the parking area. Yeah, in the middle of the parking area. Do you mean to tell me that the Ming vases have been delivered and, and they've been put in a place where they can be driven over by a car? Is that what, is that what you're telling me, son? They were. You do realise you're responsible for that, don't you, son? You've signed for him. Oh. Right, well, uh, that's not very good, is it? I I'm sending someone down. I'm not happy. Oh, no, he's not happy. All right, boy. Will you just keep an eye on the snake for us? OK. Oh, Don't let this go. Why am I all today? Brilliant. Callum thinks the big boss blames him, and a customs official is on his way. Priceless means so, so much money. It means, like, there's no place you can put on it that's so expensive. Uh-oh. Now it's time to crank the prank and pew the snake. Well, the ninja in the snake box. Don't worry. Bob! <laughs> no, you don't. 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 I think it's safe to say that Callum believes there's a real snake in there. So let's send Bob back in. It's, it's, it's moving. It's starting to move. Have you, have you put your fingers by yeah, in, the, nope, in the box? No, standing here. Callum's totally freaking out about the snake. So let's crack the prank even more and send in our customs official. Oh, I see. Look, Here we go. What's up in there? What's happened here? Somebody want to explain to me? These two did it. Well, he's the one who drove in. Well, hold on a minute. I've... Let's start again, shall we? Who's, in... who's... who's signed for that package? Um, who signed for it? Me. Well, you signed for it. You're... And you're a little bit young to be working here. Go, boss. No, we're not working here. Look, it's a visitor. Do you know how valuable that piece is? Pieces. There's about eight of them that are smashed there. What's the second piece that's been signed for? Uh, the... 
A snake? Well, there was a snake in there, but our customs official is about to discover we have a small problem with our snake box. Oh. Would somebody like to tell me why the panel was hanging off? It, it's in there, we've seen it. It's in there, there's a hole there big enough for a, a python to get out. This, oh, this is not happening today. Yeah, all, all no, I've got a venomous slip. I'm shutting it down. No. I'm shutting it all down. All I did This was... is evacuation time. I shouldn't be dealing with this. What else has been signed for? Please My tell me there's nothing else. My box is there, and that's it. Right, lads, come with me. Just be careful there, boys. Right. I'm going to have to make a phone call now and sort this out. Just beware that there is a snake running around here somewhere. We're not talking about an earthworm, OK? Have a look on there. Do you see this box? See this writing? Yeah. Try and match yeah. up and let's see what we're dealing with in here. Let's hope it's not livestock, eh? Vegetable. That looks the same as that. Uh, oh, I oh. think it's that one. It looks like that. Fireworks. Yeah. Oh, God. Fireworks. Right, Fireworks. Fireworks? Uh, oh, this gets better. I'll just bring them. I can't believe this. Fireworks. And they put the detonator in here as well. We've got a snake running about. Uh -oh. We've got live fireworks in a package that you've signed for. Right, hold that. That's it. Evacuation. I'm shutting it down. Let's evacuate now. Is there anyone else in the building? Brilliant. Andy's evacuated the warehouse because of the dangerous fireworks. But Callum's holding the detonator, so obviously nothing can go wrong. Right, ninjas? <laughs> His face. Let's put him out of his misery. Cue the fire alarm. What's going on here? What are you trying to do? What's happened? Has anyone lost a snake? Oh. Uh, Louis, can you explain? You want to tell Callum what's been going on? You've been thanked by the prank patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Not a real one. What did you call it? A bock bock or something? <laughs> it's, not, it's not a real one, it's a rubber one. Say hello. 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 Callum, did we get you? Yeah. Just to let you know, we've spent days. That one right there, the <laughs> prankster next year has been planning all of this from the start. You've been on Prank Patrol and you've been a, a star, mate. Round of applause for Callum, everyone. Hey! Well done, mate. The best bit of the prank for me was probably when all the fireworks went off because Callum's like half fainted. I couldn't believe it. I thought they actually set this fireworks off. When the snake box turned up, did you see that? It started moving. Callum actually went and hid. Well, he's just terrified. His face just went pale white. <laughs> what would it be like if you saw a box like snake in the box? <laughs> Callum's face when we smashed the vases was brilliant. I was watching him in the rearview mirror and they looked really shocked. I thought I was going to have to pay for them all. I don't think it'll be a professional prankster when I'm older, but, but saying that, Barney better watch out. What? You know, we just love it when a prank comes together, don't we, fellas? Yeah. yeah. You know, they never did find that snake. Ah, oh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh.